Yo viewers, today we're finally going to be testing out this Dayton Galaxy Lasco 20 inch whole house fan. This is a 3 speed reversible model. I believe the, the uh, switch is backwards for some reason. The intake is exhaust and the exhaust is intake. Easy enough to fix that at some point. I'm not super confident in the blade. I think it's kind of brittle, but I mean, what good is the fan if you don't use it? So well, let's turn it on and see what happens. If the blade breaks, well, then it breaks. Unfortunate, but you know, what are you going to do? Not use the fan? It don't make any sense. So we'll start with exhaust one, which is going to be intake one. And of course, I had to put it in the window where the daggone plant is going to cause a freak show the whole time. Well, it would be very quiet if it wasn't for all that noise from the, uh, from the plant. It sounds a lot different than the other one I have does. The uh, dark brown Sears one. This is ridiculous. Can I move the phone a little bit? Yeah. It's more over as it goes. Alright, so there's low. It's uh, moving plenty of air as you could imagine. Something's rattling, but it's. You know, we'll get that. So, there we go. Yeah. Very, very quiet for the amount of air it moves. I don't know what the CFM volume is on these things. It's got to be really high. All right, let's go up to the two. plant is truly a joke. I didn't think of that when I put it in. I don't want to move it because I had to put different screws in because this one mounts on the side of the frame instead of on the front and so uh, I had to put a different set of screws in. So it's kind of it's staying in this window. I don't plan to move it. Alright, let's go to high. Okay, you get a couple seconds of this and then I'm turning it off because the blade's shaking too bad. Put that in the center, it's all over the place. Come on, I'm blurred before it breaks. Yeah, we can't. No blade. That blade is, is uh, I gotta balance it first. I mean, it's, it could still break even if it's balanced, but it would at least reduce the. Uh, likelihood of the braking if it was balanced. I don't remember if the other one is, is out of balance or not. I don't think it was. Well, it works just fine. It's uh, pretty nice on low, very quiet. Unfortunately, that plant is totally sabotaging this video, but such is the case. Yeah, it would be quiet if it were for all these leaves. It would be very quiet. Alright, well, let's cut it off. I haven't lubricated it or anything yet, so the spin down is whatever it is. Not bad. These used Emerson motors. Very, very good quality motors. As you can see the bearings, I mean, they look like they came out of the factory yesterday. Nice. Okay. So that works good. It's an absolute monstrosity of a fan. I mean, I've, I've never seen a blade like this. This is 
I mean this blade is bigger than most condenser blades as far as depth and pitch is concerned. It's outrageous. It's a shame they don't make these anymore. There's not really a comparable product to this. There's that Air Queen metal bladed one, but it's not anything like this. I mean this is going to blow that away all the time. So anyways, speaking of blowing things away, I guess we're getting a gust of wind. Well, that's it for this video. Um, I'm going to have to try to balance this blade. It's going to be tough because it's a heavy blade. It's only plastic, but it's very thick plastic. So we're going to have to balance the blade. And then once the blade is balanced, I mean, there's still no telling when it's going to break, but I'd be a little more comfortable running it with a balanced blade than with an unbalanced blade.